Hi guys, welcome to Ask Environmental Resource Center. My name is Lizzie, and today we have a question on transportation of dangerous goods by vessel. Now, if you transport any dangerous goods by vessel, you need to know which regulations to use, but it's not that easy. So here we have the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code, and this is published once every two years. It's published in the even number year. So here I have the 2014 edition of the IMDG Code. Now that sounds really old, but it's actually not. This is the current edition that we are using for transportation by vessel. So when the IMDG code is published, they publish it in an even numbered year. So 2014 and 2016, then in 2018, they will publish again, but you don't start using it until two years later. So this 2014 edition becomes mandatory in 2016, and you're gonna use it until the end of 2017. Now, since they published the 2016 edition in the even numbered year, you have an optional transition period. So you could begin using the 2016 IMDG code in 2017. If you wanna go above and beyond, go ahead and get up to date on the newest vessel regulations, but you could still be using the 2014 edition until the very end of 2017. Now, it's time to buy the 2016 edition of the IMDG code and make sure that you're in compliance with this by January 1st, 2018. This will be in effect until the end of 2020, so two years, and by that time we will have more IMDG codes published and more transition periods where you can optionally use the new one. Don't forget, if you're shipping dangerous goods by vessel, you need training to do that, and we offer IMDG code training classes to get you certified, which is due once every three years. So stick with Environmental Resource Center, we can get your training done, and if you have any specific questions or have any you know, information that you need about shipping dangerous goods from your site by air or vessel, just give us a call or contact us online. Thanks for watching Ask Environmental Resource Center.